Hi everyone, it's Anne, and on today's video I'm going to show you um, a look inside my sticker organization. Um, I'm going to start with the main sticker book. This is like a photo album thing that I bought at Dollarama for like $2. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first page is, the glare is horrible. The first page is like um, workout stickers. Uh, my sneakers are in there. I got workout here. My scales are in there. And then this one is all my cleaning stuff. So I got like bathtubs, um, uh, beds, anything that has to do with cleaning it's in this area. Also here is anything that has to do with laundry. So you know, laundry, laundry machines, um, washing machines, sorry, and laundry baskets. And then this page here is anything that has to do with shopping, mainly groceries. Um, so grocery carts, uh, grocery bags, just shopping bags here. And then here it's anything that has to do with bills, my, you know, bill flags, cell phones, paydays, um, credit cards, anything that has to do with money, basically. This is where my all my appointments are. So appointment flags, little doctors, uh, for my dog, like vet stickers, uh, teeth. This is where my rescheduled and canceled stickers are as well. Here it's where my uh, headers are, my flags, my teardrops, my dots, stuff like that. These two pages are more like miscellaneous pages. Uh, I couldn't fit it all in one page, it was too thick. So it's like um, countdowns and rubber duckies and ball of wines, books, uh, tassels, swimming, uh, there's lawnmowers in there, so. And then here it's everything that has to do with my with my car, so car stickers and gas stickers basically is the only thing that's in there. And here's anything that has like the word work on it. I usually uh, put my work schedule on like just quarter boxes or appointment boxes. My schedule is all over the place, so I don't work a nine to five. I can work nights. I can work days. I can. So, but that's all right. And then here it's all the samplers I got. So this is there. And this is like the, um, not the mini kits, but like samplers I buy. Like these are the ones that I get free with the orders. And these are the ones that I, glare is horrible. Uh, these are the ones that I buy from the shops because I don't buy kits. So i just get those instead. And then this is everything that has to do with weather. Um, but once I run out of these stickers, I'm not gonna buy any more. I'm actually, I bought um, these little stamps. I don't know if you can see. And on these stamps, it says like, uh, rainy day, windy day, snowy day, uh, lightning and thunder. So I just take the stamp and put it in black ink and I'll just stamp it there cost me like three dollars on Amazon so it's gonna save me quite some money on stickers because weather stick stickers can get quite expensive because you you do use them every day oops I just hit the camera with the with the ink pad on this page here it's like quarter boxes this one here is more like appointment boxes uh, and uh, I mean yeah, appointment boxes, more small. And then here are my full boxes. I'm more of a, I don't really have full boxes that are not like full like that, that you can write in. I do have a bit, but when I put full boxes, I don't really write anything on it. It's just to like take up space, especially if I work a long shift and I'll put that there. So it just, doesn't it fills up the area more 
These are my weekend banners. And then I have my planners. And that's it for that one. So, and then the other thing I use, I already took everything out because I'm holding the camera with my hand and it would be a struggle. Um, I got this pouch, that, it's a SpongeBob pouch, that I bought in a Dollarama for a dollar and it's probably just a pouch for a tablet or something like that. So I got this and in there I have my sticky beans covers. I have the Christmas one that I absolutely love and I want to have it on my planner already but you know I'm gonna go through summer first at least and it's just trees with my name and a little heart and then I have the um, mermaid one I should have been a mermaid and then it comes with this bookmark And then this is the, I'm having a hard time with the camera tonight. Uh, this is the original uh, plum paper cover that I have. So sometimes I take it out and I put something that, something else. And that's, that's the joy of having interchangeable covers. You can switch it up whenever you like. After the covers, uh, you get to the stickers that are not from Etsy. So... I got like the sticker book, you know, just random stickers that I bought at like dollar store or Walmart. Just, I don't really use them often, so that's why I don't have a lot of. And then you are in the Etsy stickers. So these are the ones that I don't use as much uh, or they're too big to put in the photo album. So the uh, hydrate stickers. You've got some... I don't really use these as much so that's why they're in there. They're just little flags. And then you go into the um, decoration slash character um, area. This... Uh, pretty much all of the, the characters come from the, from the shop Juju all over. Uh, she has like the most variety I find of characters um, like the Incredibles those are so cute and then Cinderella and Mario Brothers so basically everything almost everything is from her can't grab it and then you go into more like um, holiday stickers like leftover of last year so I got um, Valentine's Day uh, New Year's, Christmas, fall, and then some Halloween stickers. So that's the stickers I got. And then the last thing that I put in that pouch is my clips. So I got like this clip. This is from a Etsy shop called Crafter Planner Girl. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll it in the description below she's a Canadian shop she's super sweet I had bought this one and the bigger one but my dog ate the bigger one so yeah that sucks uh, so I only got the small one left and this one she actually gave as a freebie so that was super sweet and then I got these ones that I got from the shop I don't remember as well I'll put it in the description as well She's a Canadian shop as, uh, too, so Power Rangers and, of course, Supernatural, Sailor Mercury. And then I put those in there because I don't want them to get caught up in the stickers. And then I put everything in the SpongeBob um, case thing. So that's what I do for sticker organiza organization. I can't even, I can't speak. That's what I do to organize my stickers. There you go. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, you can like, you can subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Bye.